Did you know that Raven wasn't always as powerful as she is today? Instead of dark magic and demon abilities, she started off as being a simple empath. And once she joined the Teen Titans in the 80s, the character also had a very different personality than most are familiar with. Instead, the character was presented as being usually overwhelmed by her powers, which seems to have been adapted for the live-action Titans series, with the change of the fact that she has her modern-day powers, not her old powers. And fun fact, the character almost didn't even get made. You see, Mark Wolfman really did not want her on the team, because he didn't want a mystical character on the team, thinking it would complicate things. But George Perez managed to talk him into it, which was a good thing because the character became an instant fan favorite. Yes, not as much as other members of the team in the 80s, like Cyborg, Starfire, and Beast Boy, but she certainly had a lot of people liking her. And typically a way to help a character's popularity is a power boost. Therefore, that came of the White Raven storyline, which is infamous, and was also adapted in the Titans show. Afterwards, the character would be far more popular no longer just being an empath. And as time went on, the character's powers would be explored, especially in other media, such as the Teen Titans cartoon, which would make the character extremely popular. That with modern day audiences and children, who, if you don't know, like toys. So then there would be Raven toys on the shelves, making more children know of who she is. The Teen Titans cartoon was a very big hit. So much so that some of the characters' personality traits and abilities on the show would be bled back into the comics, like her social awkwardness and her flirtation with Beast Boy. Now, Raven nowadays is a character who you think of instantly when you hear the words Teen Titans, likely side by side with Robin, Starfire, Cyborg, and Beast Boy. Thanks to the popularity of both Teen Titans and Teen Titans Go, Raven is a character who I personally really like. In fact, I, I think she probably is my favorite Teen Titan. But if she would have stayed the way she was from the 80s, I'm not entirely sure if that would still be true. The character being socially awkward is something that I can relate to. Same thing with the evil dad. But that's for another video. <laughs> now the character as of late has been coming out of her show a lot. Which in my opinion comes across as actual natural character growth. However, it could be referenced to how the character was depicted in the 80s. I don't think it is because she still comes across as a little edgy. Well, in the 80s, she really was just constantly overwhelmed by her powers. But that's my opinion. Do you like Raven? Do you like the version of the Raven that we have now? I personally do, but I know some people don't. And that's it. Like always, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.